Hi, Wrightsville kids. I'm Pastor Julia, and today I get to share with you a little message. In our scripture lesson today, Jesus says that he has come to proclaim release to the captives. And as I heard that and I was thinking about it this week, I started thinking about a game that I used to play in elementary school and that maybe you've played too. It's called Capture the Flag. So when I played this at my elementary school, we would use this as a flag, some sort of jersey that people would wear, but in our game it worked as a flag. And then we would have a cone like this, and we would have two separate teams. And each team would have a flag that then got put inside of a cone like this. And the job that you had when you played was to try and steal the flag from the other team's side. But while you, as soon as you went over onto their side, someone else could, from that team could tag you. And if you got tagged, then you had to go to the jail, which was really just a corner of our elementary school gym, but it meant you didn't get to play the game. Well, if I'm being honest, I was not very fast when I was in elementary school. And so I frequently ended up in this little jail spot. And it would be very sad because I'd be there and thinking about how I didn't get to play and I really wanted to play again. And then sometimes the coolest thing would happen. You see, we had a rule that said that someone from, from your own team if they could make it, if they could run towards the jail and they got you by the hand, you were allowed to walk back safely together to your own side again and you could play. So sometimes I would be back here and waiting and so wanting to play and then one of my friends would come and they wouldn't get tagged and they'd come and we'd walk hand in hand safely back over to our side. Well, that's what I started thinking about when Jesus says that he is there to celebrate release of the captives. I was thinking about how amazing it was when I was in jail while playing capture the flag and someone came and got me and released me to play the game again. Well, of course, Jesus wasn't just talking about playing capture the flag. You see, there's a lot of different ways in our world that people can feel like they are captives. They can be captives to rules that aren't fair or to hard circumstances. And what Jesus wants to do is release them from those. And here's what's really cool too. Jesus also wants us to do that. Jesus wants us to be a part of going and finding our friends who have not been released and walking them into freedom hand in hand. There's lots of ways that we can do this. Sometimes it's as simple as something like donating snacks to Snipes Academy so that kids who have the captivity of not being able to learn because they're hungry can have a snack. And that's a little way that someone can be released so that they can fully play the game. There's lots of other ways that we can do this. And I'd invite you to talk to your parents about some cool ways that you as a family might be able to help release people who are struggling. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you that you proclaim release to the captives. We thank you for releasing us. And God, please help us to help others as well just like you have helped us. We love you, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.